So if you said to me, what are the things you need? Like, let's say three things. What are the three things you need to make good beats, to get the vibe you want, to sort of just get into a natural creative process where it just feels like you can just make anything? Um, I'd have to say, I need peace and quiet. I can't work with noise outside. If people are talking outside the room or there's people downstairs or outside the window or just anywhere, I can't focus. It just annoys the hell out of me. Maybe that's just me, but you guys can probably relate, right? Secondly is obviously my setup um, in terms of my computer, my sounds. I need at least some of my kits and some VSTs and stuff to make my beats, that's obvious, right? Third thing is gonna have to be this. <laughs> So speaking of LEDs and lights in general, um, this video is sponsored by Gove. Um, you guys may have used their products before, you probably heard of them. It's funny because I actually used this product before this sponsorship. So this is really just like me basically telling somebody I know about this. So it's really not even a big deal for me to promote this at all because like I said, I actually have these in my whole house. I have them downstairs in my living room. And of course now I have them throughout the whole studio, which I'll show you guys very soon. So if you guys want to get the same lighting that I have in my studio from Gove, all you have to do is click the link down in the description and you can go find the full product range. If you guys have seen the setup tour video from about a month or two ago, you will notice me talk about the Gove lights, uh, which I had before. And since that video, Gove reached out and wanted to send me uh, the full range of their latest uh, technology, the RGBIC uh, LED lights. They are the latest light display technology from Gove. They feature advanced IC, which is independent control. It's basically a chip which makes multiple colors show on one light strip simultaneously, which create a pretty, pretty nice display, I can't lie. When it's all going at once with the music, they do sync up with music. It just kind of picks up the audio around you. So if you've got big speakers like I've got, and you want to play some music and the lights kind of go with it, um, yeah, you can't go wrong. So they also have app control, which I'll be showing you guys. It comes with an app. Very, very good app. It's not one of these buggy. I've used all, listen, I've, I've gone through a few companies for lighting because I, I love LED lighting. And um, these apps genuinely are really poorly made. They're slow, buggy, and just, you don't really get much control with this app. It's honestly everything you really want. It's fast, responsive, and it gives you all the features you need to get what you want with the lights. There's so many colors and choices and modes. Just check it out, guys, honestly. You won't, you won't regret it, honestly. Let's go look at the lights and uh, what they can do. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk into the studio without any of the lights on, right? Like, I just can't, I just can't. <laughs> it sounds so stupid, right, but like, I honestly cannot sit in here without these lights on. I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't sit in it. It's just like, there's just no atmosphere. It's like, what am I doing in here? Like, I waited, I've waited specifically till nighttime to film this video for you guys to show you just like the effect you can get with these lights. And even in daytime, I have these things on. Like, even when it's broad daylight outside and I've, the sun's gleaming through, these lights still shine, look good, and just pff, look amazing. And that's down to the quality of the product and the application and the way I've set them up. So let's go look how I've set them up and kind of what the studio looks like with the lights on. So now when you walk in, it's like, okay. Instantly, just vibes for vibes sake. <laughs> I love them, honestly. These are just the lights on standard color mode. Like I could put them on sync right now. I can change the colors freely and the app is just super easy to do so. So let's uh, go check out some of these lights. So first of all, we got the chair ones, right? And basically what I did was, I just laid them underneath, as you guys can see, around the bottom of the chair, uh, the shelf. Now this, this was not easy, guys. As you can see from this design, it's not exactly square. It's kind of all over the place. And what I did was, if you can see the shape of it, I went around the back and all the way around the edges. You know, I thought it wasn't gonna look good, but I don't think you can see the, the cable stick up anyway. You can actually see it just there where my finger is. That's the only place where it's sticking out. So if you guys can set it up on something like this, it'll go on anything. Like it's super easy to make it corner and turn and yeah, just really high quality. When the, when the light sync is going, this thing is just whirling. It's like a snake. It's so just sick. It's honestly amazing. Uh, and then we've also got the desk, of course. So we've got a trim going around the top, around the side, um, underneath the sort of layer with the interfaces there. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, and if I had more, I'd honestly go crazy. I'd probably go around the edge of the window. I go on the seat, I just put them everywhere because they're just that good. So let's talk about this app. And, uh, let's see what it looks like. There's that. 
shelf. There's that. Chair. There's that. And studio, which is just another load of lights in the desk. So that's basically the studio with the lights on uh, all set up, of course. Um, let's go make a beat and let's really demonstrate these lights for you guys. Bing! Bong! And then we've got energetic on the on the desk light, which is basically just a bunch of crazy colors of flash um, with sounds going on in the room. And then we've got spectrum on the shelf, which basically, like I was saying earlier, just flicks around like a snake. Well, it looks like a snake on this one because it's it, it's the way it's laid out, but really. So yeah, all this going with a beat is gonna be a bit crazy, so let's do it. Oh, this is hard. I'm like a bang with this. So once the drums start going, you'll see the lights go crazy. basically the modes we were using for the lights energic which basically is like the crazy kind of light flashing all over the place like the best one so the desk over there so like if I'm talking now you can see it's just like going a bit mad with the chair lighting we have the spectrum which is basically just kind of flashing on and off uh, on a set color and um, so I've got purple um, and obviously you can change that with the color scroll and then on the shelf we, which is my personal favorite for the music sync is the rolling, which as you can see, it's just, woo, it just rolls around with the kind of audio in the room. But yeah, usually like if I'm just kind of chilling, not really making beats, I'll just have it on a sort of solid color. So like that. So that's the video done. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, thanks for Go for sponsoring the video. Uh, make sure you guys check out the RGBIC lighting I've been using uh, in the studio. In this video, um, you, you guys definitely won't regret it. It's awesome. Um, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, yeah. <laughs> That'll be so funny. <laughs>
Thank you.